Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. I have come to the top of our local hill at the moment. You can, might be able to see behind me this beautiful view because I want to talk about that incredibly voluptuous flower that happens at this time of year, which is the bluebell. Bluebells with their vibrant hue and sweet fragrance have captured the imagination of artists and dreamers. This is because they have long held great tradition and folklore through us and our ancestors. And as a traditional witch, I hold them in high regard. I do believe that Britain holds three quarters of the world's bluebell woods, and one of them is behind my house. So I wanted to show you what a beautiful bluebell wood looked like, and also tell you a bit about what happens with the bluebells and the fae. So come with me and I'll show you the bluebell wood behind my house and we will explore the traditions and folklore together. It's a glorious day in May and all the world seems to be in bloom. You cannot help but love this weather. As you can see here, my garden is surrounded by woodland, as is my house, and this is where the bluebells thrive. It is native, leafy, British, deciduous woodland, their favourite place. In folklore, bluebells are often associated with the fey folk, a symbol of their mystical presence in this natural world. And it's said that bluebell woods are enchanted realms where fairies dance and weave spells of protection and enchantment. Legend says that bluebells are a haven for fairies. In fact, the name fairy flowers is one of their common traditional names. Ancient folklore asserts that fairies would hide among the flowers and ring the bluebell like you would other normal bells to call to each other. Bluebells are also believed to be connected with death and the afterlife. And if you genuinely hear the bluebells ring out, it is said that one of your loved ones will meet their demise, and hence their other name of Dead Man's Bells. But this is simply one of many. They're known also as Cuckoo's Boots, Witch's Thimbles and Lady's Nightcap. Not only that, but they had their uses, one of which was to produce starch from the bulbs that stiffened the Elizabethan rougher collar. They also were used as glue in book binding. And according to of all people, the National Trust, there's even a possibility that certain bluebell extracts could be used to combat HIV and cancer. Which is probably better than olden times when they were thought to cure leprosy and snake bites. Every May Day they were revered and pagans would attach them to their altars and maypoles so they could dance around them in honour of this season and their May gods. It is illegal to pick wild bluebells or dig up their bulbs but these are my own personal ones in my garden. However, this is against the Fae. They will not thank you for taking their special flowers, for these are the ones that they use to weave their enchantments. And although you can walk through your bluebell woods, do not tarry, or one worse, fall asleep, because you are likely to be abducted. I think it's the energy of the bluebells themselves that when you go and see it makes a place so magical. You can feel the frisson of excitement. You can feel the fact that there are definitely fairy spirits around. I know there's fairy spirits in these woods because I've met them and charming and glorious they are. Bluebells are sometimes used as offering to attract fairies, but they foster a connection with you and the realm of enchantment. And in your sacred space, they can bring about relaxation and calm. Bluebells are known for enhancing intuition and developing your psychic ability. Try using them dried in your spell work. Tread carefully with bluebells because the Fae are their favourites and they will not be kind to those who trample upon them. I was going to do some proper filming here, but the dogs are panting so much I don't think you can hear me over that. <laughs> So we'll just have to look at the view, which is 
Good morning, Devon. The meadow that we are now in has been farmed in the same way for countless generations and so it is filled with all the flowers that you can imagine. And a terrier. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it enough to like and subscribe. Please do so because it really helps me continue to make these videos. Your subscription means so much to me. In the meantime, I'm going to go and play in the sunshine with my dogs. So see you next week.